all right back again we are out here at the park gonna try to do another speed rip in this small area today i'm gonna try to run from that park into this park and see if that's gonna benefit me in any way or get the longest run i possibly can before i hit the park uh 12 satellites our last pass as you guys remember 70 miles an hour we're gonna try to beat that today so we're gonna hit track start says testing so we're gonna get out here and do a little speed pass today hopefully we don't wreck too bad uh, I always say hopefully we don't wreck too bad because I always do plan on wrecking if uh, you don't push yourself, you're not going to go faster. So, I'm hoping today we can, uh, we can at least go a little faster. So, I'm going to check the runoff from this park into this park. And uh, we're going to hope it's not too bumpy in between. If I can get up to like 20, 30 miles an hour before I hit this park, um, that should give me some added room. This is all I'm hoping for. But we're going to take a look at this area in between these trees and poles and see if it's something I can accomplish. Looks like if I could stay away from that big light pole, we might have a, a shot at this. What I'm worried about is hitting it right here. You see? That's a pretty big jump to be hitting at any kind of speed. There's a bunch of manhole covers. Well, we'll give it a shot. If I can get some speed out of it, it's better than none. All right, so I'm not starting too far into that park. We're gonna try to hit the low point, which is more towards me, and then run off into those trees. That was about half trigger. I don't feel I got much more room doing that because it got pretty airborne. But we'll take a look. All right, let me try to get out of the sun. So we're gonna hit stop read so that was only 62 miles an hour so i didn't really get any more runoff so we're gonna try to just keep pushing more every time track start it's testing i see some dogs that aren't on a leash So I'm gonna try to hit it a little faster this time. And we'll see. All right, I'm pretty far out there. I'm hoping these dogs don't walk in the middle of this.
I don't feel I got much more. When I hit that thing, it got pretty much airborne and I had to let completely out of it and I didn't get into it until we were half this park. So I just feel that's gonna be around the same. Even though I'm running longer, stop, read, 65, Yeah, I definitely need more room. Well, I'm going to try to hit here for stopping, and I'm going to try to run diagonal, because I think diagonal is definitely a lot longer. Track, start. And i got to be careful with temps. Um, what else can I do? I'd like to run from that end this way and then use this stuff as shut off. I don't know if that's going to be possible. I want to say this park feels bigger. Yeah, there's dogs walking around over there. I'm gonna try to run this diagonal again. See if uh, see if that's gonna help. I don't think so, but all I can do is try. And it seems like this end of the park is pretty bumpy. All right, so I'm up in the dirt area. So I want to aim for here. So I'm going to back up a little and see if I can aim for this area. So I got to run closer to me without hitting poles. Nope, I hit that dip and went up into a wheel stand. And once it goes into a wheel stand, there's no stopping it. Stop, read, at 54 I went into a wheel stand. And that's just hitting bumps. It's not that the power is picking up the RC. It's just hitting dips. So I'm going to try the other corner and go more diagonal because I know right there I'm hitting those dips that are causing a lot of issues. guy on a scooter now so it looks like I'm diagonal enough to hit this I'm gonna back up there we go I don't feel I got much faster. I saw those people walk in and I didn't want to go any farther and slide in the dirt into them. Let's see what we got. Stop. Read. So 73 miles an hour. So it definitely was longer. We have the power, I just need the room.
track start do you see my hand shaking a little bit just because there's so many people literally walking towards me i got a dog and a girl over there walking i got this guy with two dogs over there i've now got a small crowd on scooters over here so they're literally all walking towards me doing these speed runs which kind of makes me nervous because I can't catch everything. I seem like I pulled the trigger as fast as I could pull it without it hitting those bumps and pulling into a wheel stand. That was still about half trigger. All right, here we go. I saw it coming up in a wheel stand and I couldn't control it. No steering. tumbled pretty hard on that one I saw it floating but I just had to lay into it a little farther that was a pretty hard tumble it didn't tumble very far so the wheels are bent to the left we're gonna hit stop read yeah only 66 Before it uh, it was floating that front end, we're gonna power this off. Batteries are still connected. Body looks a little crooked. Oh, broke a steering link. So, just an outer link broke. Well, I think I've maxed out this park. I don't think I can do much more at this one. Body's a little crooked again. But I'll get a steering link on it. There is Griffith Park, but I went and scouted it out. Even though it has a big park, it's not flat. This seems to be the flattest park I could find so far. I'm gonna continue looking but I definitely need more room. There's no sense adding more weight to the front of it because it's not weight causing it to fly up and it's not the body causing it the parasail anymore. It's literally the uneven ground. If you hit any kind of bump and you don't have enough suspension travel, what happens is it just kicks up the front and then you just kind of float the front end there. And then if you don't get it down, that pretty much ends your run. As soon as the front starts floating, you have to back off the trigger to get it to come back down. And every time I back off, it does come down, but then I try to pull the trigger harder. And uh, because it's on that hop, it just brings it right back up. So more people. But like I said, you gotta keep pushing. So, wanna thank everybody for the last video calling out the Diesel Brothers. If you guys aren't aware, I'm gonna be doing another video on their Power Box giveaway because Within 24 hours of us posting that video, showing that they have an X-Max in the video, um, they pulled down all the videos. 
So they did manage to sell out of all their boxes. So they ended up selling out all the product. Oh, broke the clip. That sucks. Have to put another one on there. But um, they pulled down, the Diesel Brothers pulled down both links to, uh, to the scam video of it showing what they were talking about and showing the X-Max. So anything that showed that X-Max has now been taken off their site. And it doesn't make sense to, uh, to remove a video, you know, that has over 400,000 views making good money if uh, they weren't doing something wrong. Now, is it possible that uh, that they didn't realize this mistake? It's possible, but knowing that uh, they done other RC Traxxas videos with the Sledge and some other Traxxas products, I'm pretty sure they know the difference between an X-Max and a Haas, and that they threw that in the video because it was bigger and the camera could catch everything. Because if you had a little tiny RC car there, um, it would look very impressive. Oh look, our fans popped off too. The heat sink popped off the motor. So I'll have to get that back on as well. Motor is kind of warm. But there we go. We did accomplish three more miles an hour today on this beat up RC car. But like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. I saw it coming up in a wheel stand and I couldn't control it.